This hydrofoil is looking freaking awesome. Look at that. So slick. Boom. All I have to do is uh, grind down these two bolts, make it nice and flush. Then I got to bolt this tail, gotta bolt this tail section to the fuselage. And then doo -doo -doo, over here, we got the actual fuselage, which is just a picket. That will get bolted like so. This guy goes on the end with this on top. I caramba, looking awesome. And then the final touch. Oh, yeah, look at that. Actually, might have to change this up. This is the old system that I'm not too fond of because it just looks kind of ugly. And I hacked it together. I put these two pieces of flat plate on there, welded it, and then bashed with the hammer till it fit around the square tube like so, and then bolt it through. What I've done here is I've gotten these two holes that I drilled, so I want to actually shave this off and then weld a piece of flat bar to the bottom, grind it so it's the same curvature as the foil, and then tap it with the screws and it's nice and nice and sleek looking, and only it's the two two bolts that go through the bottom here. So now we can jump in the old samurai and go take a long trip down to Crofton where my buddy has a welding shop and we can do some welding. Oh, hit the thing. Oh, there we go. Sweet. This is my buddy Sean, he is a good old skateboarder friend of mine and he is a aluminum fabricator for doing handrails and pretty balling houses. Yeah, we're great. Fucking chill. This is, this is my first move here. You got the fucking worst person to film this for you. Why? Oh, this is gonna suck. How so? Oh, just in every way. I like it. Alright. Sucking is good. You just gotta have little transition shots of like you doing something and then it's gonna just go to sucking is good and then back to something else. This is, a, this is a tricky thing. I gotta figure out how to get my, if I want to put my holes in here to line up with this and then weld everything straight on. Oh my god. Do you have a black Robbie? Yes. Get that face shot, you know? It's pretty cool because like having uh, someone film for me is gonna be interesting. <laughs> you know. Put all the drill bits in each hole, and we'll find out. Nope. Oh, I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> we'll fucking try that fucker. 
Oh, this cocksucker here. It's a bit smaller. Longer, that's in the size, eh? She fits, she fits. Oh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Great. Look up, up. Right there. Oh, shit. <laughs> you can run your house off this battery. Did you know the new Tesla cars actually use dual batteries? <laughs> Perhaps with this big contraption over here. We need some sort of press for the drill. Some sort of what? Some sort of press for the drill. Come check this shit out. That'll work. And then he said, let there be light. Ha ha! I forgot about that. Oh shit! I put the bin in wrong! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put this back on. I think I gotta do videos with my friends more because it's more ridiculous. There's more sound effects? More sound effects. I'll tell you what. Holy shit, are you out of your mind? Why? The problem is this has to be so exact because it's so long that if you're off oh so slightly, one degree over three feet is going to be like, I don't know. Here, actually, uh, leave it that way some, and then let me do that bead on there. It'll pull it. I'm just gonna tack it on this side. We'll tack, tack, and then run a bead. Yeah. Oh, so that's out just enough that if you tack it on that side, it'll pull it. Okay. Oh, that's, that should be good. It's soaking a little bit more because I want to grind it flush anyway, so it has to really penetrate. Yeah. Okay.
Tiki tacky this side? Huh? Tiki this side? Tiki tacky. Tiki tacky. Oh, you burnt it back, you fucking ape. Why did you do that? Why did you do this? Around here, we don't need wired brushes. Okay. This is this is how real professionals well. <laughs> okay, okay. Do that again. Flip it off, and then just look away. <laughs> this is how real professionals well. So what's happened here was when we did a weld here and a weld here, it pulled the tower off to one side. So I'm eyeballing it here with this square, which is, we kind of squared it up, but it's not quite perfect. So I've got my buddy here with a hammer. We're just fucking pushing it pretty good. He's new to this. I think that's too much. Way too fucking much. What the fuck did you do? Douglas Taylor was shot the A. <laughs> See, what happened was, in my attempt at making that funny, I actually broke the weld along there. Oh, you did too? Oh, I gotta re weld that then. So, no, this is perfect. If you do another big retarded weld on there, it'll pull it again. Another awesome hack for using an angle grinder and aluminum is using a candle. Just this guy. Don't just tell anybody. <laughs> That's my secret. This is it's a ready secret. It looks straight now, though. Fuck, that's a good high crumb you got there, bud. Oh my fuck. Slightly needs to go this way, right? Yeah. A couple of hammer smashies will do the trick. So we got this nice and straight, happy there. Now we did these nice big, fat, beautiful welds. We gotta cut everything off, and buckets is all flush. Yeah, buddy. Do you know how much of a fucking whore that's gonna be? What? D everything you just explained? What? Holy fuck for myself. Oh. Thank you, Grandy, dude. Yeah? Just it all flush. Well, you can just put it in a vise, and you can angle grind your fucking life away. And we're gonna need about 19 of those discs. No, but this is how I vice things. <laughs> I know an easier way. What? You gotta unclamp it first. <laughs> oh yeah, that's probably better, right? Fuck yeah. Fuck you have a table saw. Table saw? Yeah, you can just run that through a table saw. Not a table saw. No? Nope. Uh, do you have a skill saw? You must have a skill saw. Hey. Okay.
pencil action. Pencil action here. You don't fucking need that much. <laughs> You tell me. Fucking uh, expert. I don't know. I got that grind pretty good. I just gotta grind another quarter inch in. Probably should have just done that the first day. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you don't have a skill saw, eh? No. Mm. I don't believe so. If I if we do, I don't know where it is, because I don't use it. I, I was really thinking a skill saw would just take a lot of material off or a band saw. Um. I'm definitely not a professional welder, but I'm really stoked how this turned out. Like, I don't really get a weld too often, but when I do, oh, I am just so stoked. Looks like the uh, fuselage is going to fit quite nicely as well. It's the exact same size, so it'll fit just perfectly on there. A little bit of overhang, maybe, but that's okay, because compared to this, oh, look at that slow piece of metal at the bottom of my tower. Yeah. See ya. Oh, I can't wait to put this in my next video. Thanks for watching, and thank you, Sean Douglas, for letting me use your uh, use your shop. That was just delightful.